This video is sponsored by DistroKid. If you follow the VIP link in the description down below, you'll get 7% off an already amazing price to distribute your music to the world. Hi folks, I'm Mike and I hope you will. Pianoverse is a brand new piano plugin from IK Multimedia and I've been testing it out for the last few days to find out exactly what makes it so different and also where it would be most useful. I've got a couple of answers for you on that a little bit later on but first of all let's dive in and take a look at the basics. Pianoverse is a host plugin for IK Multimedia's robotic assisted Pianoverse libraries. There's four available at the moment and you can buy them individually. Let's just have a quick listen to each of them so we get a rough idea of the basic sounds that we're getting. So with each of these pianos, we have the ability to refine their sound. I'm here on the model tab and you can see, for example, I've got control over the hammer noise, the pedal noise, the harp resonance, the lid position. All of these characteristics help us to tailor this piano to our specific needs. Now over on the master tab, we have some more overall kind of control. So things to do with tuning, we can see here, the overall tone, the compressor level. Over on the right we have the velocity curve so that we can adjust how the piano responds to our playing and over here more in the middle I skipped over this one this is the space control let me just play this piano part again and I'm going to push the space control up have a listen And you may be thinking to yourself, hey Mike, that's just a kind of a reverb control, isn't it? Well, not quite. And to find out exactly what this space control can do, we need to go to the space tab. <laughs> Note that this feature is about space rather than rooms. Yes, we do have some kind of rooms. We've got the academy here, which we've heard already. We've got the ballet studio, a cathedral, a club. The kind of things that we've seen in piano plugins before. However, there are some pretty unusual spaces with this plugin. So, for example, the Colosseum. When we click on this, notice we no longer only have the space control, but we have some controls which are very specific to this environment. We've got the gladiator, the audience, the arena, the tension control. Now, you shouldn't take these too literally. They're not sound effects in this way, but the labels kind of indicate what they're adjusting. Let's have a listen and find out. Now, if you're thinking cinematic, I agree with you. This is one of the main sort of advantages I can see with this particular piano library. You get to have that basic piano sound, but then you get a lot on top with these spaces. Let's go to another space, a desert. Notice the labels here, dune, sand, wind, mirage. Let's have a listen to this. You can get some really sort of creative effects here. And just one more. I'm going to go to this one because I like the background picture. <laughs> it's called Old Forest. And note the names of the labels again have changed to something suitable. Thank you. 
This one's a little bit sort of magical. There's quite a selection here. I'll just scroll across and you can see a few of them. And a lot of fun to play with and really quite sort of inspiring, to be honest with you. They make you sort of play something a little bit different if you're composing while you've got them switched on. So this is one of the major aspects of this particular plugin, the space feature of it. But we can also continue to adjust all of these things and blend them. And we can start by using the mix tab for that. The mix tab is an area where we can change the relationship between our piano and its environment with a little bit more detail. So for example, with the piano here, we can change the miking technique from coincident to close there, for example. Obviously, we can adjust the panning and the level of it. And then for the piano itself, we've also got EQ and compressor controls here. But we've also got all of the same controls for the space that the piano is in. So in this case, again, it was the old forest. We've got an EQ and compressor for the old forest. Now over here on the master bus for this plugin, we can use three different effects. You can see them here. And we can change these three effects to different effects. And we do that by going to the effects tab. So we can see our three available effects on the effects tab and you can choose which type of effect you want in each slot by just clicking on it and you can see the available ones there so you insert that of course they've each got their individual controls and you can switch them off and on so let's switch on this choral effect here and you'll also notice at the bottom of the screen we have two envelopes available and we have two LFOs available as well and we can apply these to most of the controls controls that you can see on the screen. So if, for example, I wanted to apply uh, this LFO1 to the rate control over here, I can just click next to the uh, LFO1 here. Then everything that's flashing is a control which can be affected by this LFO. So I'll select the rate here and then I can adjust how much it affects it or the range of it just by um, clicking on the actual control here and moving my mouse up and down and that gives you some really nice movement to everything that you've got in terms of your effects. So I feel like if you get this plugin and get one of the grand piano libraries and the upright piano library, then you'll have a collection of piano sounds that can go a very, very, very long way in most music productions. They say it's the only piano plugin you'll ever need. Of course they do. I'm going to say if it's the only plugin you've got for piano then you probably won't need another one I guess it's the same thing I, I don't know but anyway the other thing about it is is you also get that added bonus of those really rich cinematic kinds of effects as well with the different environments the different spaces that you can put these pianos in I think that's super useful especially if you're creating any kind of soundtrack music let me know what you think in the comments down below thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you in the next video